All right, so uh, this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and as well rising. Weekly general tarot reading February 17th to uh, February 23rd, uh, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can have a look at the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website as well, uh, from which, excuse me, you will be able to a purchase such. So that being said, moving into the uh, tarot reading itself, now the first card here, which marks the general topic and theme of your week is going to be the full card, followed by the next one here, which, oh my God, which represents the energy surrounding the topic. And that is a, a beautiful week for you, Sagittarius. We do have uh, the uh, Ace of Cups here. Afterwards, uh, is going to be the challenges that you will have to overcome. No surprise that we do have such a card at that place. That is to be the two of swords. Fourth one, gifts and blessings. Cross fingers. Wow, we do have the devil at that, uh, at that particular place. Oh my God. So next one, uh, it is <laughs> how people are to see you. That is to be the high priestess. And what kind of impression you are going to give into the people around. High priestess. And the last one, it is the guidance that Tari is offering. Uh, again, no surprise that we do have something like the Six of Swords at that place. So, uh, oh my God. Uh, now, this um, this week for you, Sagittarius, it is a week that um, a very important thing is going to take place here. Okay, a thing that is going to, how can I say it? Well, say it's going to make you happy, but as well, it's going to give you a, 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 a like a, a option to restart things or options to start new things as well. It's all about new beginnings for you guys. This is what I am trying to say. And as the energies are coming around here, we do have the energies of the Ace of Cups. And many people would say, oh, my God, that is love. It could be right. So th these two cards can definitely speak for a new love that comes around. OK, but the Ace of Cups, while these are energies of love, that is energies to love your life. Okay, so to love your life, to love what is happening to you in a personal aspect, in relationship aspect, in career aspect as well. So those energies, when they kind of hits you, okay, uh, you are going to start experiencing, how can I say it, uh, a very big emotional satisfaction of the circumstances that are happening around. And seeing the full card, which is the situation itself, that means that you are going to start thinking for the very, very distant future here. You know, it's like a new beginning that takes place and where you're going to end up at that um, or how you're going to end up at the goal that you're going to set upon yourself, uh, marking that new beginning, uh, it doesn't matter at that place. It's be, uh, at that stage, excuse me. It is because now you are going to be uh, over overflowing with joy of what possibility you do have in front of you, say, for a new job, say, for a new relationship, say, to improve your current relationship, if you will. Because the situation itself is going to make your muse an art. It's going to make your art life and life will become art itself. So you are going to love what is happening to you. That's the point of those two cards. And that itself is going to plan a, a very positive and optimistic hopes for the future. And they're not wrong to be there. All right. They're, they're just uh, you can definitely get uh, whatever um target you have uh, you have set upon yourself to be at at the end of uh, of this transition with those two cards now important thing to be acknowledged however with the four card here guys is that the four is not very experienced okay so whenever this uh, new beginning hits you okay you may not know what to do with it in a sense of that how to approach it say a new person comes around and it kind of reveal itself that he wants a relationship with you and you don't know how to approach it you don't know what to do at that point okay and uh, with the fool it's very important to be spontaneous it's very important to be uh quite detached with the uh how can i say it with the seriousness of the situation it's like Try out and see what happens. That's that's the whole point with the four card. Now, I said new beginning because this is in a correlation with the Ace of Cups. 
but it may be just prior to it okay so this, the stage just before the new beginning takes place where you can actually uh kind of scale uh your options available for moving forward into the future and you suddenly realize oh my god i can definitely go for it okay oh my god i can definitely go for for school for example to finish up school and become more qualified oh my god i can can go for that person and be with them oh my god you know i can i can take that job it's all about that and with these energies of the ace of cups i said that you're gonna love what is happening to you because whatever it is to happen to you in the circumstances that are offering you a new beginning um many of your concerns are going to simply vaporize they, they will no longer be there you will not have to stress yourself over them it is just what the nature of the ace of cups is it's because like said in previous reading it transcends your reality into something much more pleasant exhilarating and happy to be experienced okay but definitely if you are starving for love guys definitely that could be your week because we can't deny it that the ace of cups it's all about love personal and exterior one as well now the next one it is the challenge here and that is to be the two of swords uh, that touches up a little bit the inexperienced stage of uh, the very initial um how can i say it um excuse me the um unexperienced state of the very initial stage of the situation and uh, two of swords here points to uh, a, a bit of rushing in a sense of that you got to tame that urge to rush. It's like, you know, oh my God, I have the opportunity. And if I don't take it right now, it, it, it's going to simply, you know, kind of like vanish, disappear and etc. etc. Now, that, that, that's not the case with you. As a matter of fact, the two of swords here as a challenge urges you uh, if you don't know what to do while being spontaneous, meaning meaning with your performance, your decision making, however, should not be spontaneous at all. As a matter of fact, whenever you are baffled of what to do, you have the luxury to wait until the right decision that you have to make become obvious to you. Uh, the very trivial um, example of it. It is two people are fighting for you, you know, to be with you and one of them loses interest. So the, the right decision becomes obvious. It is the person who does not lose a interest. So do not rush your, um, how can I say it, your decision making. And another challenge that you are to find here, it is that this new beginning should not happen on the expense of the things that you are already uh, involved in okay so it's we're not talking about abandoning one thing and beginning the other so that is not going to be the ending of one relationship and the uh the start of another it could be however the restart of a certain relationship it could be the new beginning in the framework of the current relationship or a job that is because that could be your promotion so that is the new beginning in your current job that could be your engagement which is a new beginning in the in the framework of your current relationship so it's going to be something that propels or accelerates you know your current situation um, and transform it in, into something happier than a, a, a something that it is a brand brand new okay for you uh, now the next one here that we do have it is uh, the gifts and the blessings the tarot uh, the, or the universe is offering to you and they are shown from tarot by the uh, devil card and this is one of the most powerful gifts guys this is something that you cannot go uh, wrong with or you can go wrong with but what i was meant to say is that you simply cannot fail with it because uh, the gift of the devil it is the power to chase or to um, satiate the insatiable hungers you do have. So you have, you are hungry for uh, a work while well, you are to have the circumstances to do it. You will have the power to take advantage of those circumstances. So do it, okay? Or uh, you are uh, hungry for love. Well, you can satisfy that hunger because that love is to be shown into your current social circle, you know, or into uh, into your relationship. Your partner will show you how much they love you and etc, etc. So uh, here it is that you are gifted with the blessing 
to fulfill the urges of your soul. Now, that is different from dreams, okay? That is very, very different. The urges are something that you cannot live without. Dreams are something that it is yet to be accomplished, okay? And that's why uh, probably we do have the Two of Swords here into a challenging position because you have to be very keen with identifying where your hunger, hungers are, reside, are, are residing at, what kind of dwellings they are taking here, what, what, uh, what, what is their nature, so you, don't, so you don't waste these powerful gifts that the devil um, that the devil gives you because um, if we go religion or religion wise in my country okay uh, we are orthodox christians here and pretty much the bible our bible at least preaches that god, god helps you if only you help yourself meaning that you cannot expect any divine intervention whatsoever while the devil from another hand gives you everything you ever wanted, gives you everything you need to accomplish your goal, okay? With the uh, presumption that you are going to abuse it and therefore presenting yourself unworthy for the grace of God because your soul is weak and tempted by the power given you from the devil, okay? And therefore, whatever power is gifted to you through the gifts of this week, Sagittarius, you should not abuse it, guys, okay? You should not use it to destroy or to, how can I place it, for nefarious and surreptitious intentions. So how people are going to take on you, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around? Now, we do have the high priestess. And... Uh, not much of an impression, to be honest. Uh, people were just going to see you as a, someone who is, uh, how can I say, it? who pretty much knows what they're doing, even if their actions does not make sense in front of others. And another way how people were going to see you also, it is, um, I don't know if the word is determination, but it's pretty much uh, as a, a person who does not feel himself uh, uh, kind of obliged to explain his intentions and his actions as well. You do what you think is best for you and whoever is not agreed with it or cannot stand it, well, that's their problem. It's not your problem. But as well, as in an impression, people are going to see you that you are establishing yourself. You are just settling down in a certain position at career or in a certain relationship. And as we are mentioning here, relationships, uh, the high priestess is very related to the so-called twin flame uh, and soulmates. It is because the high priestess fulfills fulfills the needs of the soul. Okay, and that, that kind of like pushes you toward a um, soulmates and twin flames, uh, however you like to call it. And th that is how people are going to see you in a, in a personal aspect that you are in a search or you are with your twin flame or with soulmate but that is how people see you it does not necessarily mean that you are in that position and the last one here it is the guidance the tarot is offering to you we do have the six of swords and there is only one way how we can interpret this card something beautiful is happening to you throughout this week sagittarius do not pull yourself away from it. That is all that the Six of Swords urges you to do, okay? Do not be afraid from it, even if it looks very, very different from what you have expected, because it will appear as a perfectly matching opposite to yours, and you, need, and you need to bind yourself with it instead of running away from it. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly general tarot reading, February 17th to February 23rd, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you the link to my website from which you can purchase such. And uh, I only can hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.